Hey, so this is um, Mary Dominance coming back with a vlog of my experience at the BTS Wings Tour stop in Newark. I went both days. Um, I had um, P1J standing um, sound check for Thursday and then I had P2 Section 9 um, seated for Friday. Um, I'm also going to tell you about my experience for volunteering. I was one of the volunteer in section, um, volunteer, um, sections for both days. I was, um, handing out pink bags for the standing area on Thursday, and then I was doing section nine red for Friday. So I'll talk about my experience about volunteering for these projects, um, and then my experience in the lines and what exactly happened, because, um, I know a lot of people have like mixed stories, but I'm one of those people who like lined up since like, you know, really, really early morning to get a spot. So like I will go through that. Um, first thing I'm going to show you guys is, um, the uh, BTS Rainbow Project. So, um, I was one of the volunteers. Um, people have been asking, oh, how do we make the rainbow? Um, the girl who was the, um, leader, she is amazing. Let me tell you, um, she got, you know, donations and put together ways for us to get these type of bags or just regular bags that come in different colors and we put these over the army bombs and turn them on um the original intent was to have them turn it on during during do set the fan song but people did it a little bit earlier just as soon as the encore started so we put it on during um outro wings and then it lasted the entire encore and bts really loved it um, <laughs> So yeah, these are what we use just so that everyone knows and that we're clear. Um, this is what was used to create the colors. Um, the line situation. So um, for P1 or any G general admission standing, um, you were told to line up um, and get your wristband um, at 11 a.m. Um, these wristbands, you were put in line for standing GA all. Doesn't matter if you're P1 or P2. It's first come, first serve. Whoever's in line will get a numbered badge. And then later on during the day, when doors open at 5.30, you should be, you know, in the same spot you had earlier. Well, yada, yada, yada. Um, so we all, the problem on Thursday is that they didn't start giving out wristbands until basically like 12. Like, the line wasn't moving. We standed for a very, very long time. Um, you were handed the orange ba um, band just for being GA. Um, this is the number that you should be using to line up, which is the last three digits. So I was 657 in line. Um, and then it, you were given the red if you were P1. If you're a P1, you were given a red band because technically, according to Powerhouse's setup, P2 was supposed to be separated from P1. But on the first night, they just let all GA go in in the order that they went. And I was P1 and I happened to get right up front. But let me tell you, directly behind me was a P2 girl, which isn't fair because P1 was supposed to have priority for the P1 section. And they just let all general admission go in in order by their wrist number, which was a no-no. So on the second night, however, it seems like they had the division up and I saw the guards actually checking for the red P1 wristbands to go in the, um, red, I mean, yeah, and to go into the P1 section. So I guess they fixed it the second night because I, let me tell you, everyone was 
going crazy on Twitter, messaging powerhouse, yada, yada, yada. And I thought it was unfair. It didn't affect me because I lined up pretty early and I got a spot in the very front. But I can just imagine the faces of the people who were P1 who arrived late, but should have gotten, you know, into the P1 section like up front, but couldn't because P2 was let in the P1 section. So I know there are some people who are very, very like upset about that. And I totally understand and I agree. So yeah, that's what happened with the line situation and you were given wristbands. Now sound check. Um, sound check was awesome. If you ever get a sound check ticket, I think you should keep it. It is worth it. It's really nice. Um, sound check was let in on a different side entrance. We went in at like about 3.30 and we were out by four something to just get back in line and be ready to go into the venue. Um, when you go in sound check, you are, regardless of if you were seated and had a sound check ticket or any type of GA, you're all going to be standing. Um, in one section of the stage, and they are going to perform three songs. Um, they came out, V looked like he had just woken up, like half asleep. Um, you have to realize that when you're going to sound check, they're literally doing a sound check. Um, there wasn't a lot of playing around with us so much. Um, Jimin, who was closest to the fans, you know, was trying to play along, but they really are doing sound check. Um, after each song, they did, um, you know, check with the staff. You know, I'm speaking in Korean, you know, like saying who they could hear, who they couldn't hear. It's literally a sound check. Um, but it's nice, you know, they did interact with us a lot and we did do the fan chants during the practice, which was allowed and it was awesome and they enjoyed it. And now June had a lot of fun. It's just, um, you have to realize that they are pretty serious. I performed Dope, um, Save Me and Pepsi. So three songs. Um, they do, they did a quick sound check after each one. And then at the end, um, you know, they say bye and thank you for coming, but yada, yada, yada. Um, and it was really cute because on Thursday sound check, um, V came out looking like he had just like woken up, hoodie on, like totally like swollen sleep face. And then when it was time to leave, he left his phone on the stage and had to run back on stage saying like, and the phone, like he, he left his hand phone on, on the stage. So that was pretty cute. But, um. Yeah, if you ever have a chance to get a soundcheck ticket, I think it's worth it, especially if you're an army. It's just nice to see them, you know, chilled out, you know, no makeup on, just, you know, in their natural state, you know, like how we usually see in their logs and stuff. So it was pretty cool. So, um, I showed you the bags. Um, the one thing I thought was disorganized about in terms of fan projects was that there was way too many like slogan projects. There's too many of them. On Thursday, I was handed like six different slogans for different songs by different fan sites. And I feel like um, this is like a big issue, it's specifically for US stops, because when I went from Munster in Korea, um, the fans communicated with Big Hit and Big Hit distributed one slogan, like one slogan for the entire venue for the fans. So only one thing was done. When I got all the slogans at the venue from different people, I only basically knew about two of them that were like highly sponsored, people donated, yada, yada, yada. And then the rest of them, I didn't know like what it was. And none of them really got done because no one knew which one to pick to do. And it, people were enjoying a concert. They're not going to remember during five different songs to hold up five different slogans. So I think that's something that um, US fans can work on. I don't know if it happens in other countries or whatnot, but that was just something. So, um, this slogan was actually the one that V ended up taking and holding up um, on Thursday. Um, well, I guess one of the fans handed it to him and he read out loud, you're, um, you're the best to me just the way you are, and he really liked it. <laughs> Many people donated and she did a really good job distributing this to everybody. 
Um, it's double-sided, so this one was supposed to be for 21st century, and then this side was supposed to be for Bomnal, Spring Day. So um, we did um, better with this on Friday than Thursday. I saw more, more people holding it and doing it. This one I knew about. This one I knew about for Not Today. Um, this one was the Bankan Tumblr. So yeah, this one looks more official, out of official paper. It's very similar to the one um, design, very similar to the one from Muster um, of last year. So this one felt official, and this one J-Hope holds up in a picture for Friday. So yeah, I knew about these two. Um, other slogans, I was handed this slogan. And it, I don't know when I was supposed to hold this up. It just was given to me, so I have no idea. And then I got a few more, but I don't really have them. Um, another thing is um, Korean fansite masters were actually there, which is pretty cool. Um, I was given this for free. It's really, really cute. So Jin with the uh, um, Cookie Monster eyes was really cute. And then I was given this by another... Like fan site masters, so it's cute. I'll hang these in my wall. They're like really cute. She gave them for free while I was waiting in the sound check line. So that was very nice of these girls. We also got other free things like um mini photo cards from people who designed it, specifically saying for the Newark tour tour. This one was by um Melon and Sugar, which I have I think I do follow her. So yeah, this was cute. And then um another thing um is that this is the first K-pop concert that I have been to where it was very festive. Many, many things to do. Um, the Korean muster that I went to was a fan meeting and that was also very festive. There were many lines to wait on, raffles, things to do. Um, at other K-pop concerts that has never, like I've been to EXO, Big Bang, none of that, it didn't feel festive. I just went there to line up, go in and leave. Um, this one they had a raffle, you do a survey on your phone. And then by the time you get to the front of the line, you get a free little postcard for participating. It was really cute. It was sponsored by um, BB, like a lot of um, Korean stuff. V-Live, BBQ, Puma, SK Telecom, Smart. The, yeah, it was really highly sponsored. Um, and when you put your hand in, um, after you, you know, finish the survey, give her your email, you put your hand in a box, pull out a ball, and if you get the orange one, you get to do the virtual photo booth which I had no idea what it was. All I know is that people were screaming in it all day. So you can see a little bit of the footage that I'm about to put here, but um, basically you go into the booth and you pick your favorite member or one of the members and he virtually comes onto the screen and like interacts with you and sits with you and you do two poses with him to um, take a photo and then you pick which photo you like best and then it prints out in front of you physically. looks like the person is really sitting next to you so I did a whole sock and it literally looks like he's next to me which is really really awesome yeah so um ice cream bloody murder because I didn't know what I was getting myself into I just thought it was a literal photo booth but it really looks virtual he talks to you and like everything so a lot of fans are going to talk about like if they do their own recaps and they may talk about how people were screaming in these black booths and no one knew what was really going on in there and the Korean staff who was working the table because they were all Korean um especially the male security staff was dying they could not keep like the humor off their faces it was really really funny but um yeah this is really cool thing for them to do as a um festive thing um Anything else? Oh, okay, the merch, the merch lines. The merch lines weren't bad. Um, they were longer at muster, in my opinion, in Korea. Um, I didn't get to get any must, um, any merch the first day because I was standing in duty lines and going to sound check lines and passing out bags. I was just super, super busy. Um, the only thing I did get is that they had an express line for army bombs if you're paying cash only, so I hop in that line. It took like two minutes, got an army bomb, and then ran back to my spot. 
um, on Friday, um, I got a little bit more leisure time because I was seated and I, first thing in the morning, I woke up at 10, eight, got in line at 10.30 and um, to get, get, get merch. And I was able to buy a lot. And um, the first things that always sell out are the beanies, the baseball caps, um, face photo collection, those sell first. Um, I was literally in line and 20 people ahead of me, the baseball cap sold out and I was like dying because I really, really wanted it. But I was able to order it online from Yes Asia back when they posted it up. And I did it as a backup just in case I couldn't get it at the concert venue, concert venue, which is good. So I will just wait for it to be shipped and then do another unboxing video. But yeah, um, overall my experience was very good. I have made many, many, many acquaintances and friends in every line that I line up in. Army is pretty, like, respectful. They're, they're very friendly. They're very talkative. Um, they like sharing, you know, their experience, why they like Bang Tan. It's very festive. It was very homey. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also a cosplayer, so I've been going to anime conventions, and I kind of had that con withdrawal from this concert. I've never had, like, concert withdrawal before. But I actually had concert withdrawal. I met so many nice people, um, so many people willing to help. When on Saturday, um, on Friday for the bags that we were doing, um, we got the bags late, and there was just a lot of confusion. So I made sure I got into the venue early, and I was putting bags on every chair, and then I ran out, and so I didn't end up having to take bags down and putting it on every other chair, and just people were just really nice, you know, saying, oh, oh let me help you put this on this chair, this is very, very nice. Um, I haven't had this feeling before with other concerts I'm going to fandom, so I want to really um, talk about how, how happy I am with the BTS fandom. They're very, very nice people. Um, so yeah, overall good experience. Um, in terms of performance, it was like perfect, breathtaking. Um, Friday, I can tell they were nervous. Um, I guess it's because so much pressure. They had just been interviewing Billboard. They um, were doing so much, and I think they were nervous the first day. Um, speci specifically, V and um, Jungle, they didn't really smile much during the performances. I think they were just so focused. They were definitely really, really focused, looked serious. It was very professional. Um, tensions were high, but then as soon as Encore happened, it was like a breath of fresh air and they were just all smiles and happy as if like the first performance pressure was over and um, you'll see in the footage, but they just look so happy, so childlike, like have so much joy at the end of the concert. And then... smiles and working the camera from the beginning especially V. I can see the like stark um, difference about how the pressure is over and they can kind of relax on day two. So now I know this charm of 
um, going both days, seeing the tensions high on the first day and then seeing them relax on the second day. But um, they really appreciated the Rainbow Ocean both days. And yeah, I think um, we did a re we chose a very, very nice project, a very good project. Nothing overwhelming. It was just, um, it was good. I have nothing negative to say from my experience. As an army and, and this being my first U.S. concert experience, I had a blast. Um, of course, there's always confusion when in, in terms of lines and stuff like that, but I think the staff did the best they could um, for a sold-out concert. Um, yeah, I, I would consider this a very, very positive um, first time for BTS to do a concert of this scale, and I'm very, very proud. Um, I feel proud to have been a part of such a fan project, and I feel proud of the fandom that I saw there. Um, yeah, I, I don't have much um, more to say. Um, it was very emotional. I did get teary-eyed quite a bit. Um, just so, so proud of the boys for what they've accomplished, what they've done. And um, I can't wait for um, the future to see what more comes and stuff like that. But yeah, if you have any questions about my concert experience, any questions about the fan projects, um, oh, how do I um, participate in that next fan project? What does like, responsibility entail and stuff like that? Um, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer it as best as I can. But yeah, if you can um, go to a BTS concert, I highly recommend that you do.